How do you act when you lose a deal? Recently, I've had a couple of different examples, one good, one bad, about uh, how people have reacted when they have uh, they lost a deal. There's people I've been dealing with and they didn't win the deal. I had to uh, connect with both and kind of break the bad news, explain why we did not choose to go with them for this particular product or service we were looking for. I'm not gonna get into details about it was, uh, but two different ways of how people reacted. One uh, was real pouty, just like, just pouted basically uh, on the phone, followed up, wanted to connect, wanted to hear the reason why. Uh, just a lot of like sigh and mm, boy. Mm. I mean, literally, like I couldn't believe it. And, uh, uh, you know, just really frustrated. And, uh, you know, I explained the situation, you know, sorry, it didn't work out, had to do what I thought was best uh, for for myself, for the company. And just, uh, yeah, mm, just so disappointed. And okay, all right, bye. Like nothing, not a, not a wish you well, nothing. Just I, I hung up. I was so frustrated. Uh, I was uh, invented to my wife that night. I was just so frustrated about how they reacted. I just thought it was so unprofessional and uh, just not how you would do it. And I actually talked to my kids about it. It was like, all right, business lesson from dad, how not to act when you, when you lose a deal. Uh, other situation, uh, somebody lost an opportunity to work with us. They reacted uh, uh, very positively. They were like, look, it, I understand, I'm disappointed. Would love to work with you guys. Wish you nothing but the best going forward. If you ever need anything, uh, just don't hesitate to reach out. If I can be helpful in any way, any manner, uh, please let me know. And very positive. They're obviously disappointed. They express that. Totally natural to do that. We do that when we lose a deal. Express your disappointment. You wanted to win it. Uh, but also wish you nothing but the best. Here to help if you ever need anything. This person stayed in touch, by the way. Uh, stayed connected, provided you know valuable information along the way, and as it turned out, situations changed, and I did end up calling them, and uh, did actually end up doing business with them. And so, uh, you know, I think that positive impression that was left when they when they lost the business uh, really paid off. Staying in touch really paid off, and it came back around, and we did some business with them. The other situation I told you about. I haven't heard from since, never been in touch, never stayed connected, never nothing uh, at all. And so, um, you know, situation hasn't changed, but if it did, um, I'm, not, I'm not reaching out that way either. So I wanted to share this. And so you can reflect on for you, your company, your organization, how do you react in disappointment or when you lose the deal? Do you pout? Do you try to make the other person feel guilty? Try to make them feel bad? Um, or do you express... Disappointment, that's normal, that's natural. Uh, you, wanted to, you wanted to win the business, but you didn't. But wishing them nothing but the best, staying in touch, I'm a resource. That's how we teach people at Service Express. That's how I've always wanted to do it. And that's how I would encourage you to react in the future. And you never know when the business is gonna come back around. There's so many deals here at Service Express that we've won, that we've lost previously. Sometimes more than once, but we stick with it, we stay connected, we continue to be a resource, and we'll be persistent and keep coming to one. And eventually, we're going to win that deal.